Hi, it's Adrian's Day, and I wanted to go ahead and play around with um, some of the palettes that are still on ColourPop, but they're older, so they don't necessarily get as much love anymore. So um, I did decide to go ahead and do a little bit of a retro feel, but um, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and um, as far as I didn't really do a primer right now because it's in the evening I'm not going out and I was just playing with palettes so I didn't really do that um, but as far as what I have on um, I do have the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop and this one's in 30 ferrets their foundation and then the Pretty Fresh uh, concealer as well I think I have mine in 7 and then um, what I did after that was I went ahead and grabbed the Isle Bet which is one of the ColourPop bronzers and so that's what I have on as my bronzer today and uh, yeah it's all ColourPop today let me tell you um, I did go ahead and use the uh, Bardot blush and this one the Super Shock blushes uh, again from um, ColourPop and what I found with the um, with the ColourPop or with the Super Shock blushes is to go ahead and put them on and then I use a setting spray in this case um, I went ahead and used the Glisten Up so right after I used the Glisten Up I put on a second layer and I think it actually it just brings back the color a little bit so that's a tip that I found as far as uh, working with the Super Shock and excuse me fuzzy right there <clears throat> did use the seismic as far as my highlighter today so uh, yeah this one has a little bit of sparkle in it and I did go ahead and use it on the chin um, the cheeks the nose and then right in the middle of the forehead I did use a couple of products that weren't actually um, ColourPop, the NYX Thick It Stick It for the eyebrows and light ash brown, and the um, It Superhero Mascara. Have those two on. As far as what I did for the eyes, um, went back to an old favorite, the Whatever palette. And uh, this is still available on the ColourPop website, so you can still purchase it. And what I did was I started with this is my base. Then I went ahead and put this on the brow, uh, this one on the lid. I used uh, this one under the eye as an eyeliner. And then I used uh, this color right under the brow and right on the inner corner. So the way that the eye look turned out is kind of like that and I think it's fun I think it um, instead of really going into the red it more went into the terracotta which I think is uh, just really pretty I mean I I think I always think of this palette as being red but it really leans uh, terracotta brown and so I think it's just a gorgeous palette that I haven't used in a long long time and I should use it more <laughs> and so uh, I did go ahead and use uh, give me s'mores for the lip color here and maybe we should put some of the so glassy uh, gloss on top of that why not right So there we go with a little bit more, a little bit more. And um, did go ahead and use the Physician's Formula. This is the Butter Glow in uh, Translucent. Yes, yeah, Translucent. And so that's what I went ahead and used as my finishing powder all over. And I think the look came out fun and uh, sort of, uh, yeah surprised me I was expecting a much more red look and this like I said just sort of lent, lent itself toward going terracotta and I think it's a really pretty look uh, my sweater is making me feel very uh, 
yeah, like I should be going back to school or something. But anyway, um, so that's the way that the look turned out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I would definitely recommend the whatever palette. It is one of their first, I think, ones that was really went straight up. So um, it's a good palette. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.